traffic, traffic. here in Queens. This is uh, Chinatown. I've been here before with Hannah and Pete. We went to eat at that dessert place. But today I'm supposed to meet up with somebody. You'll see. We're gonna go eat some uh, good Chinese food. I think that's what it is. Or shabu shabu. which is like a hot soup. We gotta look for him. He's here somewhere. All right. I'm getting lost but I think I know where I am. Second floor. In the elevator. <laughs> Let's do this. Found it. All right, we ordered some pork broth. Pork broth. Getting it ready. Your vegetables. He's got all the meats here. Kimchi. And say hello to Vic. Hi, Vic. Hey, what's going on? Good to see you guys. Straight from Chicago. <laughs> We're gonna go eat some uh, hot pot shabu. That's what I do. I just go one by one. You do one by one. Yeah, it's like as much as Yeah. So it's not like overcooked. Yep. Thank you. 
Yeah. It's a good choice. Yeah. This is a good choice, Vic. You like it? <laughs> yeah. I like it. I love this stuff. I haven't eaten this in a while. You know, it's because it's like, it's healthy. Yeah. It's, it's not it's that much oil or anything. Yeah. It's not greasy. Yep. Everything's just raw. It's a soup. Yep. So it's like, this is great for a winter. Yeah. That's why I'm, I told my sister-in-law I'm going, I'm going out to uh, have some hot pot. He goes, oh, it's, isn't it too hot to be eating that? I'm like, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's not bad as, it, as you think it is. Yeah. yeah. It's good for any time. To mm -hmm. Almost done. Pretty good deal. Corn. Got some crab right here. See what else we can eat today. In the very beginning, it was hard. Like I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> for some ice cream. Vic ain't getting any because he said he's gonna do a Brooklyn tour. So let's get some free ice cream. Probably gonna get the swirl. Can't go wrong with the swirl. The swirl. <laughs> yeah, I should have told you. Perfect swirl. I need a perfect swirl. <laughs> Right outside this shabu place was more food. Check out the skewers vendor selling in the street. We just got some uh, barbecue. We got some barbecue over there at the little corner here in Queens. And uh, I gotta say thanks Vic for uh, letting me know about this place. Thanks for coming out, appreciate it. We got some of these skewers and these are amazing. What, what is that? Is that the lamb? This is the, the lamb skewer and with spices on it. Very tasty and juicy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'm gonna try it because I've taken it home. It's still full from uh, all you can eat. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Vic. Take care, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Heading home. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that video. First, I wanna say thank you to Vic Lee for the invite and for coming out to New York. He's gonna do more food tours in Brooklyn, so keep an eye out. Follow him, leave all the social media below. He's popping on TikTok. And if you guys like food-related content, this is your guy, he's just like us, we love to eat. So anyway, we came back from uh, Spring Shabu Shabu, which is a Japanese-style hot pot which is you have your own individual like broth and you can do whatever mixing. It was $22 per person just for like, it's kind of deceiving, right? It's not all you can eat meat. It's more like all you can eat sides. Like you could put all kinds of vegetables. I think there was a little bit of crab meat and, but it didn't include any of the meats. It didn't include any of the beef. It didn't include any of the pork. It didn't include any of the seafood. That's extra. So we had to order like the ribeye and, we had to order the pork belly and you know you know it adds up so i think the total for me and him was 50 about 50 dollars including tip so that's not bad i mean the food was great i can't complain but if you're looking for an all you can eat type shabu shabu place where meat is included you're better off going somewhere else but yeah I, like i said i love it though food was great we cook you cook it any way you want and you get full really fast. And right outside they had a vendor, a street vendor that was selling these uh, barbecue skewers, these sticks. And there, he also sold like, I think there was fish eye. Uh, fish eye. <laughs> there was also fish balls, there was chicken, chicken feet. So there was a whole variety of different meats or different type of food that you could order from him. And he just makes them like, he has his own grill and 
plenty of customers he gets very very busy i think he's there till 2 a.m or until food runs out and i ordered two of the beef sticks unfortunately it wasn't spicy because he was so busy that i don't think we were trying to separate our orders me and vic vic had the lamb and the beef i had two beefs and he didn't want spicy i want spicy but i ended up not getting spicy and he kind of forgot to give us a bag to go but you know can't blame him can't knock the hustle he was very busy like so many people but uh yeah it's about two dollars a stick depending on what you get but the beef and the lamb that we got about two dollars so about what four dollars for me five dollars or six dollars for vic so yeah definitely look him up i don't remember what are the cross streets but it's around that general area where the shabu shabu place is so check him out order some good skewers and it's a good midnight snack late late night snack just as long as he's still there he's open late and uh you'll enjoy as well it's very good stuff <laughs> i my tummy left happy so anyway guys if this is your first time here make sure you ring that bell down below so you get notified of all our future videos you see the big red subscribe button you can't miss it share this video if you can so we could get a ton of views like comment and share and we'll see you in the next video thanks guys Thank mm -hmm. you.